Yo, yo, yo. What is up, peeps? Been a minute. Good to see you back. Caliber, Machete, Tito, any dub, the drum monkey hanging out. Good to see you guys. Welcome to the show. You're tuned back into Blaze Radio. It's been a little minute. I figured we'd uh, redo the Elimination Chamber tonight. How about it? We'll go to the card here in a second. Share it out. I know other people are live. Elfie's live, Crimson Engine, a couple other people, but good to see y'all. Welcome back. Clinton's in the house. Good to see you, my friend. And we'll be live shortly. Stay tuned. Thank you, N.E. Dub, my friend. Brian Hernsberg is in the house as well. Appreciate y'all. We're going to redo the chamber. Pretty good show last night. We'll talk about it a little bit. Had some fun. Had some fun. The chamber was pretty cool last night. I, I appreciate it. Monstar, my friend. Good to see you. Let's try this out. Let's see uh, what happens. We're back. A uh, little vacation of sorts. Let's have some fun with it. Why not, right? Sit back, relax, let the AI take it for a ride, folks. You know how we do. I'm a little rusty. Out of practice. <laughs> Oh, so here's what we got on tap here tonight. We're going to have uh, a little fun. First, we're going to put the NXT title up on the line. Then we're going to throw Gargano, Pete Dunn, bring Shinsuke and um, Alistair Black back. We got Adam Cole and the champion Finn Balor will defend that championship. Oh, uh, David Fowler, you got your wish, too. Wait till you see the main event, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Let's kick it. Let's get wicked. Share it out. Tell your friends. Bring them back. We are back. I'm in Time Machine Arena. Your boy, Blaze McCoy. You know how that goes. We got plenty of people. Brian LG is live too. Our second match. Wow, look at this. Randy Orton playing a little mind games, bringing Bray's brother Bo back. And uh, Alexa in her normal attire. Not quite as scary. No fiend, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, you got to have some old guys fight, right, Sean Shamrock? I couldn't get Sean Shamrock or Marty Jannetty, so I'll have to go with these two old baldies. There's Jake Bagwell in the building. Of course, Paul Heyman hanging out. Wally's in the house. For the ladies, we got the champion, Asuka, putting it up. Becky is back. Bianca and Sasha and Shayna and Nia. Not in tag team action, but they're fighting for the title. Sure, Ned Williams is in the building. Good to see you, my friend. And Goddess of Pain Doll. Always great to see the lovely ladies joining the show. And there's the lovely ladies there. Watch out for Nia Jackson. Her hole. Oh, oh, no. My hole. My hole. <laughs> oh, Roman Reigns will defend his title at WrestleMania, but we ain't waiting. It's Edge bringing Christian along against Roman with Paul Heyman. That's right. Sit back, relax, let the AI take you for a ride. Strap it in. Strap it on. Strap it up. Strap it down. Whatever floats your boat, people. Whatever makes you happy. I'm here. Because I got to get away, I got to fly away. You better be sharing that food, sure, Nat, if you got food. You're getting your delivery. You better give me some food. Share. You got to get enough for everybody. Is it tacos? Is it chicken wings? What is it? That's right. 
This is our simulation federation. Interactive digital wrestling for your entertainment. Original creative characters live in the chat, baby. But tonight, we're doing it Blaze Chamber style. Hamburgers and french fries. I dig it. Match number six, we'll have another chamber match, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Kofi, AJ, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Kevin Owens, and we're bringing Samoa Joe back. The main event, newly crowned champion, The Miz, will put his title up a lot on the line against former champion Drew, the man who helped him, Bobby Lashley, and Dolph Ziggler. David Ziggler. I mean, Dolph Ziggler. I mean, Dolph Fowler, something like it. Good to see everybody. Without further ado, -do, let's do, 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 do it, baby. <laughs> Match number one coming up right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. The Funk Soul Brother. Hit that like button. Share it up. Let everybody know that we are live. We are back. Jack and do it again. Oh, it's good to see you. I'm not feeling 100% yet, but you guys always make me feel better. Make me feel good. Because it feels good. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get down to our first chamber match. Fuck it. All right. We're in Time Machine Arena, which means uh, anything is possible. Coming out first. For the NXT Championship here. It's Pete Dunn. Yeah, that means Pete Dunn has uh, has the first. Well, Wally, you gotta check the website, and you'll know when we go live again. Because the website does stay Thursday, we will be back tentatively, hopefully uh, next Monday and Tuesday as well. It's Pete Dunn coming down as our first competitor here. Chamber time. Uh, well, he might, David. You never know. Our next competitor. He's going to take forever to get out here, so we probably won't waste around with that. It's Finn Balor. Finn Balor, the champion, will get into a pod. That's good for him, I guess. NXT champion Finn Balor, NXT title, is on the line in this one. Who you guys got? Take your picks, place your bets. I have a nice mixture here in the NXT one. We're going to throw... Uh, some former NXT champs in there and see what happens. Isn't that what the spaghetti theory? Yeah, you throw the shit to the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> well, we're going to see what sticks here tonight in this chamber match, the first of three chamber matches. We got a women's chamber and we got a men's chamber later. It's our NXT chamber here. I think David Fowler's going with uh, Pete Dunne in this one. Oh, Shernet. Shernet's taking bets. Hey, that rhymes. I dig it. Shernet's taking bets. Place your bets, folks. Put your money on the line. Who's going to walk out with the NXT gold? We're about to find out. Would have been nice if they'd have had an NXT title match last night, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Goddess is going with Pete Dunne as well. Hey, now. Wally's going with Adam Cole. Interesting. Oh, we're bringing this guy back. 
It's Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm not going to do a full out. Not full out yet. No balls to the wall just yet. <laughs> We're going to take my time and get back into the swing of things. Now, we know this dude takes forever to get down there. Get down there and get in your damn pod already. Clinton took a pick. Who'd you pick, Clinton? Let's see who Clinton picked. He picked, he picked Goddess for the win. Adam Cole, baby! The man who turned on the Undisputed Era. Hey, now. Now, dig it, dig it. Now, he has a chance to get that NXT title back here as well. Good to see you guys. You guys always make me feel a little better. And I hope you, uh, I can cheer some of you guys up if you're feeling down, you're feeling out, have some worldly shit bothering you. This is your escapism, folks, because we're always here. Our WWW is for wit, wordplay, and wisecracks. Idiots, idioms, and innuendo. Add a side of sarcasm. And I'm the Blaze and the Radio. That's right, Radio Rex is fired. No, he's really fired. He got fired. Quinn's going Valor or Nakamura. That's not really a pick. <laughs> I thought about throwing Seth Rollins in one of these matches, but, I, you know, I did bring back Brock and Goldberg. <laughs> we'll see how much hate we can get there. Bagwell drinking some brewskis. That's nothing new. Good to see everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by, popping in. Then we got some other people that are uh, live right now. You can check them out as well. We're just here to have some shits and giggles, have some fun. Not always does your boy feeling up to it. Today I felt up to it, so why the fuck not? Let's get back to live. Let's see if I can handle it. And a lot of times take some money. Oh, 350. 350! Nightmare, my friend. So good to see you. You guys make me happy. Just seeing your names in the chat. That's why I always tell people, I don't mind you lurking. Just pop in and say hi once. I miss people. I want to see their names. I want you guys to pop in the chat. I'll give you a shout out. All that good stuff. Here's another one coming back to NXT trying to win this title. Former NXT champion, Aleister Black. Yeah, Radio Rex was fired. Uh, I think that's a good thing. And there's some people out there that are going to miss him. They're going to pretend like they miss him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can kiss your tree fitty goodbye. Yeah, I think it's worth Rex leaving so you don't have to, you know, you're worth 350 even. <laughs> That's right. I saw that. That was right before I set in the card, Fowler. And I was like, you know what? Let's throw Ziggler into that main event regardless. It was going to be a triple threat. But why the hell not? Fatal four-way for the WWE Championship in our main event. Uh, and Johnny Gargano coming down next. He wants a little revenge for some of these guys, too. I'm sure he can't wait to get down and dirty. And look who he starts off against. Alistair Black, Johnny Gargano. Let's get busy. Right off the bat now, Alistair Black shoves Gargano away, takes a kick to the gut. I did bring Bowtie with us to call the action, so we have some of that. I don't know if that's good or bad either. <laughs> Gargano and Alistair Black going to start it out. Who will come in next? You know how chambers work. I'm not going to sit here and explain to you how a damn chamber match works. <laughs> Good to see everybody here tonight. We're live with uh, Time Machine Arena. That's right. I get in my little time machine and fly around. So I flew back to last night and said, no, we're doing this differently. We're doing the Blaze Chamber, yo. I wish I could set the chamber on fire and have a Blaze Chamber. Well, if you're interested in AEW, they have an exploding barbed wire match coming up, which should be pretty wild some exploding barbed wire in the AEW game next year. That announcement came out too, folks, if you missed it. Kenny Omega making the announcement that about one year from now will be the release of the AEW video game. Finn Balor to champion out third. We might have a new champ here. There's P1 Ryan. Good to see you, my friend Ryan. Welcome to show your tune of Blaze Radio. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, let people know we're live again. This is a surprise stream here. I figured, uh, it's time for a do-over. Do-over! Do-over. You know, I do some do-over. Sometimes I do it before the show, sometimes after the show. Well, this is my little do-over. 
for doing the uh, the whole thing all over again. With the big changes, little changes, you know how we, you know how we do. So right now, this is for the NXT Championship. Well, Rex got fired on the last show. You can uh, check the last show that I had before my little uh, vacation, if you want to call it a vacation. We got four in the ring ripping each other to shreds, y'all. Who's going to come out on Tibbity Top? Your guess is good as mine at this point. We got five in there, no eliminations yet. Pete Dunn was a pick from a lot of people, and uh, Shinsuke is also still waiting to come back in. Big dump down by Alistair Black, and here we go. Will it be Shinsuke? Will it be Pete Dunn coming in next? Well, in five seconds, we're going to find out. <laughs> it's hard to take a week off, folks, but I did for many reasons. A little refuel, retool. We got a new banner on the chain on the channel. They're gonna come back with a little FAW. If you check the website, Nightbot will be dropping the link to the uh, check out the website. We'll be back hopefully Thursday. All of my shows within the next month or two will be tentative, depending on uh, how I'm feeling. And I know you guys understand, you guys are awesome, you guys are amazing. Matt Outlaw is in the building. Good to see LD. Lady Devil, or as Hugo likes to say, Lady Diva. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> and now the final competitor will come in. Nobody has been eliminated. We're going to get down and dirty. Fans are going bonkers here. Shinsuke comes in at number six. Will that pay off? Well, you know here the Combat Dome, these chamber matches we have are not typical. We got Rapid Entry. Uh-oh, Wally might get his wish here. Oh, Valor slamming Adam Cole into the pod. Didn't break it. There's Crimson Ninja. There's Clinton. I thought you were done, Crimson. I didn't know your, uh, your pussycat unhooked your link there. But Crimson Ninja had a good show just now. Good to see you, my friend. There's a two count and all, that's it. I will be getting a hold of uh, a majority of the people in some group chats on Skype and um, and Facebook to try to prepare people for some changes com coming up in the uh, show. So we're gonna try to come back on Thursday night. If you look at the website, oh, there's the three count. Adam Cole is out, there's Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Crushing Jelly. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Big happy birthday to Crushing Kelly out in the chat. Big double stomp by Balor on Shinsuke. Everybody wish Kelly a happy birthday. She turns 21 today. <laughs> or maybe 20, I'm not even sure. Something like that. <laughs> There's a count on the outside here. Pin him where you can. A kick out by Alistair Black. Good to see all you guys. It's been a while and uh, won't be won't be doing three streams a week or four streams like before. We won't be doing any three or four hour streams. I'll leave that up to Hugo and Mom on the weekends. Big four. Oh, Kelly. Seems ashamed to say it either. I dig that. It's just a number. It's just a number. Oh, I gotta play, uh... Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a kid! The I classic should... rant by Oklahoma State coach back in the day. I'm a man! I'm 40! Well, you're not a man, Kelly, but you're 40! Congratulations! You should be proud of that shit! There's a three. Oh, only two. I thought that was a three. Johnny almost on his way out the door. So, yeah, no more marathon shows from your boy Blaze. I'm going to keep it within two to two and a half, possibly three at the most hours. It's so good to see you all. No. No. 
me it. Listen, we talking about Rick. No. Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Turn the like button blue for your boy Blaze. Blue, you're my boy. Thank you, sir. Something a little bit different. Back to FAW is probably a good way for me to ease my way back into streaming. 12 likes up on the board already. You guys are awesome. You guys rock and roll. I love y'all. I miss I missed you like crazy. Missed you like crazy. Bye bye, Shinsuke Nakamura. We're getting down and dirty here, folks. We are down to the final four in our first chamber. We got three chamber matches tonight. Yeah, there you go, goddess. That's the way. Dan Crash is in the house. And there goes Alistair Black crashing in. There's Nightbot. Click on that link, folks. Bookmark that biatch. Oh, Clinton wants Miz to keep the belt for a while. I have a, I have a bad feeling he's not going to keep it very long. But he may. Oh, there's a three count. We're down to the champion, Finn Balor, and Pete Dunne. Awesome to see you. Big shout out to Goddess of Pain, Cam Crash, Clinton, Warp World, Wally, Lady Devil. I love y'all. I can't tell you enough. How great is big flying splash by Valley. He's trying to keep that championship in a chamber. That ain't easy. Ask Roman Reigns. He bitched out of it. J-Dog's in the house. Big show earlier by J-Dog on a new channel. If you guys haven't already, check out J-Dog's new channel, UCWE Wrestling. <coughs> We're about to find out if Pete Dunne can grab the NXT title or can Balor retain it in a chamber. Holy piss in a bottle, people. Here we go. Is this it? Only two there. Great to see you all here, folks. We're going to chill here in my first stream back. Take it easy. Thursday we'll be back and then maybe hopefully two shows next week and two shows the following week. Probably going to stick to only two shows a week if I can. Maybe more. Who knows? Not a lot. I got to take it easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. He done trying to take the title. Got him up against the day. Ah, oh, clothesline to the outside. They're on the outside. Well, they don't have to go back in here, people. Because it might be over. One, two, and a kick out. Ripper. Ripper hates FAW. <laughs> I got to take it easy, Ripper. Come on, man. I'm coming back into streaming. This is the easiest way to do it. Not a lot of pressure with, with all you guys. <laughs> I don't have to worry about entrance music and all that. There you go. There's UCW Wrestling. Good to see you. You might want to check the spelling and rest. You might want to re rename your channel there, buddy. Check it out. A little closer look. Spell check. I'm just fucking with you. Beat Don taking him up. And splash him down. That might do it. Do we have a new champion right here? No. So close. Good to see everybody, man. You guys are amazing. Showing up here on a Monday. It's a manic Monday. Oh, man, that's going to do it. Finn Balor going up top, climbing up. Finn Balor looking for the coup de gras here to end it. Ah, missed it. Oh, man, nightmare. Drop kick. Nightmare streaking. We're going streaking. Oh, no, nightmare streaking in the chat. <laughs> Kick to the back there by Finn Balor. And Pete Dunn down and out. Finn trying to finish the damn job here. Now what's he doing? Looking for another coup de gras? Up top. Ah, oh, he went for the elbow and missed it. Pete Dunn trying to capitalize. We got seven matches on tap here. Three chamber matches. We got some championships on the line. We're redoing it, Ripper. We do WWE our way. This is FAW. <laughs> You know how we do. Fantasy action wrestling. That's right, Ripper. That's what I'm trying to do. It ain't as easy this time around, but I got to take it a little easier. Especially not having Rex around helps. <laughs> uh, your boy Blaze McCoy is going to be fine. He's going to take some time. It's 
gonna take time, a whole lot of precious time. It's gonna take patience and time to do it, to do it, to do The traveling dingleberries. You guys remember the traveling willberries? Maybe some of you old heads out there will. Now Dunn again trying to take the title. Only two cannot do it. He was going for a trapezius claw there, couldn't get it. I uh, thank each and every one of you dudes and dolls, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Dunn. Little X-Plex. Uh-oh. Pete Dunn's going to try to put him away right here. He's good for a submission. Get him to tap. Uh-oh. Got him by the gooch. Pete Dunn cover again. That's going to do it. We got a new champion here, folks. One, two, and a three. He's done it. We got a new champion. I have to play my own music. And Drum Monkey can punch some dolphins. Nightmare wants to make love to security. That's kind of gross, Nightmare. We got ourselves a new champion to start off the show. Two, twenty-two. What's done is done, my buggies. <laughs> Good to see you, TJ, my brother. That's how you get the show kicked off. Appreciate y'all stopping in. Little pop-up stream. If you want some uh, digital wrestling action, I think Elfie's still live as well. Brian LG. I just felt, I felt cute. <laughs> That's it. What's up, cute? Just like I hate the GOAT. Don't say GOAT. Nobody's the greatest of all time. All time isn't over yet. Comrade. Good to see you, comrade. There is the winner of the match and new FAW NXT champion, Pete Dunn. Keep it going. How about this one? It's not the fiend. It's good old Bray. It's not wild, wacky, crazy, red-eyed Alexa who smoked too many blunts. It's Randy Orton versus Bray settling business. But Randy's playing a little mind games. He's bringing Bray's brother, Bo Dallas, in his corner. Who you got, folks? You taking Bray or you taking Randy? Coming up next. Yeah, it's fun to rebook these matches in these shows, folks. I get to do it my way, because I did it my way. Oh, back inside. We are here in time. Machine Arena Crimson's going for Bray. Wally's going for Randy. Clinton's going for Randy. Randy. Bray coming down to the ring, old school Bray, and he's got Alexa Bliss with him. Uh, this could get interesting. Kelly's going for Bray as well. This is Fantasy Action Wrestling, right here in the Blaze Radio Network, here on YouTube, where we bring you dream matches from Time Machine Arena. Oh, it's dark in here. Turn the lights on. Damn you, Nightmare. Did you turn the lights off? <laughs> Bray Wyatt coming down the ring uh, along with uh, a little firefly behind him known as Alexa. This. No, I ain't letting you in anywhere, Nightmare. You smell like onions and garlic. You stink. Take a shower. <laughs> In the damn ring already, Bray. Holy sheep shit. And his opponent. He talks to himself. Huh. Don't we all? He's got demons inside of him, and he's got Bray Wyatt's brother, Bo Dallas, joining him at ringside here. Crushing Kelly, tossing out, passing out some uh, birthday cake. 
There's the website, Nightbot, dropping the website link. The match cards for my next four tentative shows are up. Um, this Thursday we'll be back for Mass Hysteria, headlined by a fatal four-way for a world title shot. It'll be four former world champions. Chance, Matt Outlaw, Brian LG, and Mark Caliber. And plenty of really good matches coming this Thursday, folks. Next Monday, we're finally going to have Hugo's team versus mine in a Monday, bloody Monday, best of seven. Next Thursday, we'll hit the Golden Pyramid to find out who will face Jake Bagwell in his final match here. That is, unless he retires at the end of the month like he plans, because his title fight is March 6th. He might have to extend that if he wants to defend that championship. We'll have eight different tag teams fighting next Thursday for the right to fight Jake Bagwell. They got to fight for the right. But the party is right because the Booze Hounds are the tag team champions. And then tentatively scheduled for March 6th, Saturday Supercard is back. We haven't had weekend Supercards like we used to. They talk to me. They talk to me. I hear voices in my head. They got to me. They understand. They talk to me. <laughs> they talk to me. Here we go. We got Bo and Alexa in the corners of Rundy and Bray. Holy hell in a handbasket. The super card next Saturday on March 3rd, two Saturdays from now, whatever it is. I don't know. We'll have the G6 title on the line, the assless chaps on the line, the double duchess tag title on the line, the crazy eight title, the blitzkrieg title. The World Tag, the Battle Queen, the Lethal and World Championship. Nine matches for our Supercard. Tentatively scheduled for March 6th. Neckbreaker by Orton early on. Bray looking for a cover. Got a foot on the ropes, doesn't care. Nightmare's really horny. Nightmare's super horny. He wants to bang everybody. Put that little thing away already. Clothesline there by Randy Orton. Great to see everyone hanging out, popping in. Whether it's one second, one minute, one hour, the whole damn show, you know it's much appreciated. As long as you pop in and say hi, hit that like for your boy. Turn that like button blue, my man. Blue, you're my boy! Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Upsy daisy. Down goes Orton. Well, I got a feeling these two will be fighting at WrestleMania, Firefly Funhouse match, or some kind of shit. But I'm hoping that uh, Bo Dallas does make a return to join Bray. I'm hoping The Fiend has a different look, like he's teasing when he comes back, as well as Alexa has said that we'll see a diff. Oh, no. Ow! He might have a new chin when he comes back. Oh, my goodness. Right under the damn ropes. Uppercut! Mighty ball! Mighty ball! Perfect! That's the look at! <laughs> I do get! Standoff here and now Bray dumping or tossing like a sack of potatoes! Been a while since I said sack of potatoes. Now I'm hungry for potatoes. Now trying to rip his head off, separate the head from the body here. But well, Orton, you know, they've been setting each other on fire, you know. So maybe they'll have some kind of inferno match. They've already been burnt once or twice. Why not burn again? Hope you're not burning down there, though. Get that shit checked. Right hand by Bray. Oh, kicked it a pee pee. Oh, maybe they got scratch the my part. What are you scratching, goddess? Oh, don't show mom I gave you sweets. <laughs> oh, Bo thought about getting involved. And we got a split. We got some people picking Randy, some people picking Bray. Wrestling a mama! There she is. Miss America or Miss Eastern Canada. <laughs> oh, Bray Wyatt trying to put him down. But no, Bo Dallas, his brother, stops the count. Wowzers. Good to see you, Mama. I felt 
I felt cute. Do a stream. <sighs> uh, I'm feeling a little, not too great, not too bad. Figured a little fantasy action wrestling stream is a way to get back into the live streaming. Power slam. There you go. Celebrity death match. <laughs> Block punch and Orton fires back. Off the ropes, Randy with an elbow. Yo mama, oh nightmare, Why are you, who are you saying yo mama to? That ain't nice. Only a one count, Bray Wyatt kicking out. Up again now, Randy Orton working on Bray. Off the ropes again. Fez Press, right hands raining down by Orton. Crouton. Bowtie watching closely, referee, Bowtie. Monitoring the situation here, and Lexa Bliss is just staring out in the nowhere. Well, hello, that tiny taker. Mrs. You take her back in the house. Good to see ya. Welcome to the show, you're tuning to Blaze Radio. Fantasy Action Wrestling, oh, Orton had a little something to say to Alexa, probably don't burn me. You burn him down under. I'm working on it, and there is, I hate to call it Vintage Orton, but a DDT draped over the second rope, and the cover is at it. One, two, ski, and no, kick out, kick out, kick out. Time Machine Arena, I'm flying around in my time machine. Hello to everybody in the chat. Orton's fired up, could be time for an RKO. Watch out! Ah, oh, got him! That might do it. RKO, but no, now Alexa's getting involved. Bray's busted open. Alexa might get thrown out here. You better watch, she might spit blood on you, Bowtie. Speaking of blood, we got some wet panties in the chat. Because uh, Bray is busted open and he's still fighting back. Holy sheep shit. Going up top. What, Bray Wyatt from the top rope? Oh, now he's going to wait for him to stay. He's going to give him one of those weak ass chops. No. Oh, forearm smash. Look at that shoulder block from the top. Eat your vegetables, Jack Vegetables. Big shout out to Jack Vegetables in the chat. And Bray Wyatt, Sister Abby Gailey, one ski, two ski, and Bray Wyatt has done it. What a match. Bray Wyatt with Alexa Bliss in the corner, defeating Randy Orton with Bo Dallas in the corner. Now I can use my imagination. Oh, Bo Dallas walking over to Bray's corner, and he is going to join him. The brothers Wyatt reunited. And Randy can't be happy about that. What a fight. He got an RKO wasn't enough. And Bray going off top with that, with that crazy shoulder block. And then finished him off. My goodness. There you have it. There's where Alexa was getting involved. I thought he was going to toss her. Both times should have tossed her. Win a match of bloody Bray Wyatt. There's Bo. I told you, Bo Dallas pointing to his brother. Now joining Bray here in FAW. Bo and Bray back together. We could see another Wyatt family coming soon here in FAW. Bray with a big win. No fireballs thrown in this one though. Time to see some old men beat each other up. Well, Brock's not that old. But we've seen some horrible fights between these two, but I figured let's give them one more chance. Oh, chance pun. Damn it. Bergen Brock coming up next. So good to see everybody in the chat. Hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, share it out, let people know we're live. 
You guys are amazing with 20 likes up on the board. You rock. Let's get down the ring for our next match. Time Machine Arena is packed. Your boy Blaze McCoy. And oh, no entrances for these two. They're going right at it. Right up top. No rest for the wicked. We got Goldberg tossing Brock like a sack of potatoes. Kelly hates Brock. Kelly LeBrock. Hey, I remember her. So Kelly's going for Goldberg. Goldberg. Looking for a jackhammer already. Yeah, there's going to be some F5s, possibly, Jack Vegetables. You, you can tell them. Big hammer. Clothesline by Brock. Brock does have Paul Heyman in the corner. Roman Reigns will also have Paul Heyman in the corner later on as Roman Reigns defends his universal title against Edge. Powerbomb. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Shout out to each and every one of you guys and gals in the chat. And that's right. That's why I put it here, NEW. I was like, you know what? I had one match left, and I didn't want to put scrubs. I just wanted to see two big sons of bitches beat the hell out of each other. One. Big shout out. Definitely check out Nonstop Extreme Wrestling as well in the chat. Say hello to the top turn, bucko. Goldberg smashing Brock's face. Well, I wanted some uh, return matches, some people who aren't in WWE right now. So I figured these two would maybe come off with a good match. So far, so good. Goldberg with a cover. Not even a two. Still to come, the women's chamber with Nia Jax's hole. Sasha Banks, Bianca, Becky making a return. Shayna and the champion, Asuka. Roman Reigns defends his universal title against Edge. We have a six-man chamber with Samoa Joe making his return. Kofi, KO, AJ, Jeff Hardy, and Cesaro. Number one contendership on the line here in FAW. And then the WWE Championship, The Miz, newly crowned champ, will defend against Drew McIntyre, the former champ, Bobby Lashley, the man who helped him cash in, and by request of David Fowler, Dolph Ziggler. That's our main event. Hoping to be back on Thursday night at our regularly scheduled time as LTD will return. We got mass hysteria. Almost a count out. Now Brock dragging Goldberg to the center ring going for a cover. One and a kick out. Got him up again now, Brock. Looking for suplex. City on Goldberg. There's a one. Uh, and the two ski. Here comes number Trey. Ragdolling Goldberg. This shit might be over right here. You guys asked for an F5. Think you're about to see one. Will it be enough though? No, look at Goldberg. He's going right for a jackhammer. Holy piss in a bottle. Talk about a reversal. Cover. Is that it? Heyman can't believe it. But only two. Goldberg cannot put him away. Goldberg has the fans here in time. Machine Arena fired up. Oh, but Brock fights right back. Shoulder tackle floors him. And now a bomb from Brock. Bomb. Brock bomb. Brock Lesnar now dragging Goldberg around the ring, flips him over like a pancake and stomps on his inner thigh. Ouch. Helps him up. Big slam. One, two, not enough again, a kick out. Bagwell wants Goldberg on this one. If your match is just starting, you better refresh Bagwell. <laughs> In the corner now, Goldberg trying to set up Brock. What the hell is he trying to do here? Oh, no, right into the post. Oh, shoulder to the post. Right in front of Heyman. Stomping down on the chesticles of Lesnar. He thinks he's done enough damage? No way. Only a one. Well, a lot of people hate Goldberg. A lot of people hate Brock. See, I'm forcing you guys to pick one. <laughs> 
Big toss by Goldberg here. Fans in Time Machine Arena are losing their shit right now. You got to understand why. Goldberg trying to rip the head off of Brock. Two big time performers, whether you like them or not. Battle in the ring. And this is Time Machine Arena, so you're not getting old Goldberg. You're not getting part-time Brock. You got them at the prime of their careers, ripping each other to pieces. Slams him down the mat. Goldberg helping Brock up. Uppercut by Lesnar. Right hands by Brock. And Goldberg crumbles down to a knee. Brock is a little pissed right now. Nice maneuver by Goldberg, dumping him over. And right hand by Goldberg, trying to even the score. Reversal by Brock. Goldberg fires back. We got a hell of a fight, regardless if you like him or not. Spear to spear. Matt Outlaw is going for a Goldberg. Oh, you may have jinxed him. Suplex City again. Andy Price is in the building. Well, you'll see Lashley in the main event. Uh-oh. F5 could be the end of Goldberg here. Cover. No! Man. Both men throwing heavy artillery. Blah, blah, blah. Ruthless. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, hey. Bill 8. What happened to Bill 7 and Bill 9? Big slam there. I purposely put this match on here because I know it would piss off a lot of people. I could be a dick too if I want to be. Good to see a Bill Hate in the building. Shout out to Ruthless Incorporated. Mrs. You Taker, Wrestling Mama, Andy Price, Bagwell, Crimson, Outlaw. All y'all. Uh-oh. Jack Hammer. Hammer time. Got him, the man. Goldberg trying to put him away. One. Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> for tuning in late, uh, it is your boy Blaze McCoy back live on the Blaze Radio Network. We are bringing you fantasy action wrestling, some dream matches. We're redoing it. Do over. Do over. We're doing over the Elimination Chamber from last night. We call it the Blaze Chamber. Okay. Oh, you want to fuck Ruthless too? Nightmare wants to bang everything. Potty mouth. All right, now top turn, buckle, and down goes Lesnar. Nightmare, you silly gilly. Nightmare got a heart on, trying to bang everything uh, that moves, apparently. So watch yourself, folks. Sakabora. Uh-oh. Isn't that some kind of, like, diamond? Man, look at the strength of Goldberg still tossing him like a rag doll up again. And takedown by Brock. Each man has had the opportunity to put this one away, but neither one is able to do it so far. Oh man, just threw him like trash. Up against the ropes. But Goldberg fires back with a right hand. Another one, and a spear takes down Lesnar. But he's winded as well. Stumbling on his hand. Another toss by Goldberg. We got the women's chamber match coming up next. Oh, this was supposed to be a cage match. I blew that one. Big splash by Goldberg. What in the hell? Tell me he wins by that. <laughs> Only a two count. Not enough. That's right. Ru That's right. Ruthless is disintegrated here in LTD. And if you missed one of the last shows, Bill Hates brought back Havoc. Shit, I'll get rid of one. He brings back another one. Thorn on my side. Jackhammer again. That's going to do it. Brock down and out. No! you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, you never know. That's uh, Never say never. It's wrestling, right, Bill? <laughs> now Brock has the advantage. As Goldberg struggling to get up. Close line takes him to the outside. And that could spell trouble for Goldberg. Brock's going to make sure he gets back up, and he doesn't want to win by a count out. This could be a double count out. Nope, Brock's going to throw Goldberg back into the ring. Bowtie can count to three. We know that much. Big slam there by Goldberg. 
Now Brock's down and out. Ripping his damn head off, or at least trying to. As the fans here in Time Machine Arena are up on their feet. Check out the website if you want to know what's going on with Blaze Radio and LTD trying to return this Thursday. Wow, what a slam from up top. Set him up for a spear. This might do it. We got the next four match cards on the website. Spear, he got it! I don't know, you got to cover him already, Goldberg. Or maybe he wants a jackhammer to boot. He's going to bomb him first. Big power bomb by Goldberg, and yes, he wants to put it away with a jackhammer. Brock is in trouble. Groggy eyed and fried. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Jackhammer again. Oh, look at that reversal. And right into a German. Brock again. Fending off every attack. And another one. Holy hell in a handbasket. Now an F5 might do it. It is a great match, Jack. Oh, reversal again. You gotta be shitting me, these dudes. This is this is when they should fight at the prime of their Oh, another jackhammer. Goldberg is not gonna let up this time. I think he got it. Cover by Goldberg. Whoa. Too close to the damn ropes. Wow. What a battle here, people. Oh, Goldberg slams him down again. A cover one, two, and this time he got it. Goldberg with the win over Brock. Wow. An uncon not even a finish move finishes him. There's Bones as well. Bones wants to fuck people too. Now he's a fuck Bones? Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of gross. I don't even want to fuck Bones. Good to see you, Bones. Bill Hayes is back up in the building. You guys missed it. The return of Bones from Havoc. The original click that Bill Hayden Company had before Ruthless Incorporated. And Havoc has returned with Wolf Tier Gaviste and Bill Hate. They will be fighting in that tag team tournament next Thursday. Hold on to your hang dangs and grab your biscuits. This is just the beginning. The winner of the match. Goldberg! Jake Bagwell trying to talk trash. I dig it. Keep trying, Jake. Keep trying to talk trash up until your last day. That's what I would do if I were you. <laughs> it's ladies' chamber match time. Take your picks. Place your bets. Who you got? The title's on the line. The Raw Women's Championship held by Asuka. You got Nia Jax in her hole. Shayna, Bianca, Becky, and Sasha. Coming up next. Wally, 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 get your adverbs here. Tell them on style.
right, here we go. Let's get down the ring for the women's chamber match. We got Asuka. Oh, you got to pick one. Come on, people. Monstar says Asuka will retain the title. Let's bring out Shayna Baszler first. No moon mist drinking, Juggalo. <laughs> you left Detroit for good. That's news. That's big news. Never, I'll never doubt you, Mr. Bill Hate. That's right, Bill Hate now returning his bones again. Oh boy, what did I do? What did I do? I know I should have kept kept your boy. Well, we had Jack Death making his return, taking the place of Eddie Knight. We got Bill Hate making his return against his. Uh, I mean, uh, replacing his son, Bill Hay Jr. And the return of Bill Hay now is Bones. You'll see him soon. And there she is, Shayna Baszler, the first to get into a pod in our women's chamber match. Who's coming out next? We'll find out who will end up. It's Asuka, the champion, gets in a pod. So the Empress of Tomorrow will get the opportunity to wait inside of a pod. She won't start the match. She could be the last to come out. Who knows? Easy peasy. The Raw Women's Champion. It's Asuka. I uh, see a call. We got Asuka. People picking uh, Becky, Bianca. A lot of Asuka choices for her to defend the title, and you guys know it's not easy peasy to defend uh, the championship inside a chamber, especially the Blaze Chamber, people. <laughs> I don't want to keep Junior. Too many eights, not enough. Too many eights. I don't want all them eights. <laughs> Angelita, Senorita Bonita. Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. Asuka hands over her belt. The title is on the line. Still to come, the Universal title, the Men's Chamber, and the WWE Championship. This is all right here on Fantasy Action Wrestling, brought to you by your boy Blaze McCoy. Right here on the Blaze Radio Network, here on YouTube. Oh, the fastest, strongest, and all the est. The EST of FAW. It's Bianca Belair coming out next. Check check her out. Bianca coming down the ring now. Has really stepped up her game. I kind of like the tag team of her and Sasha. 25 likes up on the board. You guys are amazing. I appreciate y'all. It's a way to welcome your boy Blaze back. I appreciate each and every one of you peoples. Bianca looking fine and ready to tear some people's faces apart. <laughs> it's not nice to see the name. And I wouldn't say that name started at all, Bill Hey, You're part of it. <laughs> Taking too much credit for yourself there. Uh-oh. Cover your holes. It's Nia Jax. I don't want to know nothing about her hole. Well, Nia has got to be uh, a force to be reckoned with in this one as well. She makes her way down to the ring. We took the four that were in the tag team match and put them in a damn chamber. I know. I know, Bonezer. You big boner. I gotta give you shit. Why wouldn't I give you shit? If I didn't give you shit, you wouldn't be Bill Hate, Bill Bones Hate. As long as Bruticus ain't coming back, you keep that fucker out of here, man. Nia Jax. Ready for a fight. Got her hole already. Yeah, a lot of hole. Hole puns. Who's coming out, Max? We got four in all pods. Yep. These are the two that are gonna fight now. Here we go. It's ooh, the boss. Sasha Banks! Get out of here! 
out of here, Sasha. Get your dupa down here, you fine ass. Y'all, ooh, I didn't call her that. She'll be mad. <laughs> Sasha looking fine as ever. The boss is here. Ready to rip someone's head off. You got to love it. This is going to be one hell of a fight for the women's championship here in FAW. We have a new NXT champion here in FAW. That's Pete Dunne. Bray Wyatt with the win over Randy Orton. Goldberg beating Brock. And now this women's chamber is going to be fire. No, I know. I know. I, we mean you never know. I know. Well, it's tough to bring in any more people when I don't have any more spots either. Oh, no. <laughs> and the return of the man, Becky Lynch, back in action. Pop the bun out the oven. Oh, man, she's ready to fight again. She's angry. No more pickles and ice cream. She's rushing down her ring to rip some of these women into pieces. Should be quite a fight. Becky's ready. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Sasha and Becky, two of the four horsewomen starting us off. And this is a combat dome mat, so you bet your dupa there'll be rapid entry. And more than likely, all six ladies will be in here before there's even elimination. Becky has Sasha down early in the fight. I want to thank each and every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls. It's so good to see your names. I said it earlier in the show, and I'll say it again. I don't mind if you lurk, but I love seeing your name. Love seeing people's names. Make me feel better. Make other people feel better. So if you're lurking and jerking, always pop in and say hi if you can. If you don't want to, I respect that as well. I appreciate any and everybody, and welcome any and everyone to the fun. We are an all-inclusive channel here. We don't discriminate. We don't hate. We love everyone. Except for Bill Hate. We hate him. Because his last name's Hate. So you got, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> and there is the first entry out of a pod. It's Bianca, baby. Bianca's going to come in and whip the shit out of some people with her damn hair. Takes down Sasha and goes right after her. No love. No love lost between the two former tag team partners there. As they are, uh, well, they can still tag team if they want, not here in FAW. Well, maybe they will, I don't know. Right now they're beating each other up, and I love it. Upsy Daisy, look at Becky. Setting up, what's for the hair? Oh, man, disgusting maneuver by Becky. Good to see her back in the ring. Hot damn. Close line there, you gotta, you gotta love her uh, apparel, too. I think it's her Blaze Radio attire. <laughs> Countdown to extinction or uh, the next entrant. Who's it going to be? Who can it be now? Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's Nia Jax. Open the hole. She comes out of her hole. And Nia going after Becky. Go after Sasha. Oh, backbreaker by Nia Jax. And now Becky and... Uh, Bianca going at each other. That will be a hell of a match. I'd love to see Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair as soon as possible. It's only a matter of time before Bianca gets one of those women's championships. You have to think. Oh, unless she gets rammed in a damn chamber. And Nia's tag team partner, Shayna, awaits entry. And will she be next to come in? We're about to find out. Four seconds on the clock. Who is it going to be? Asuka might be coming in last. No, she's coming in now. I jinxed her. Here comes the champion. Still no eliminations. Asuka going after Nia Jax, Becky, Sasha, and Bianca all going at it on the outside of the ring. And Shayna, here comes, this could be our first elimination, nope. And there's the countdown for number six to come in, we'll have all six in the fight. 
And still none out. Here we go. All six ladies. Part of the competition now. Naya thrown to the outside by Asuka. Shayna's going after uh, Sasha. And Becky. Trashing Bianca Belair. And say hello to the top turn buckle. Sasha. Slammed by Baszler at the same time. Asuka, oh, Nia just destroys Asuka on the outside. These are the down. You got Shane and Bianca teaming up here, and Becky might be out. No, only two. Ravens in the building. Good to see you, Raves. Birdie, I missed you. I missed everybody. Good to see you. Big shout out to Raven in the chat, too. That's right. Took a little high anus. A little uh, soul searching for your boy Blaze McCoy. We got, if you missed my last show, I am now single. That's right. Broke up with my wife on Valentine's Day. Hey now, ladies. Hey now. Um, we lost Radio Rex. He was fired from the company, which is uh, good news to me. That might be it. Will the champion tap? No, Asuka. I mean, Sasha up top. Asuka's in the middle of Becky. And Bianca and Shayna down below. Good to see each every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Turn the like button blue for your boy. Blue, you're my boy! Thank you, sir. And like I said, the website has the next four cards up tentatively scheduled for this Thursday. And then next week, two shows. We're going to keep it to a minimum of like seven, eight matches. No more marathon shows. And we're going to try to... Uh-oh. Uh yeah, that's... Hey, go watch my last show, man. I dumped my Valentine. All three of them. My wife, Radio Rex, and I quit YouTube. I only quit YouTube for a week. Oh, Bianca has been eliminated by Becky. See, so yeah, if you missed my last stream, uh, Blaze dumps his Valentine. Yeah. Hey now. So a nice little uh, vacation all I ever wanted. Vacation. Yeah. So I took some time off. We got five left in the women's chamber championship match going down. It's going down, people. Title on the line. Becky trying to explode her on Naya. Naya slams her over. Holy hell in a handbasket, people. Wally got the FAW chance, Wally. This is fantasy action wrestling today, but I appreciate the LTD chance. Probably this Thursday we'll hope to be back. We'll see how that goes, but stay tuned. You know... If you're following your boy Blaze on Facebook, Twitter, Skype, you'll know when I go live. And if you don't know, now you know, people. Cover by Naya, one, two, and a kick out. Sasha, stay alive, stay alive. Miss America. Angelita. Holy piss and vinegar, folks. What a battle. Here's a cover in a center ring. Might be the end of the road for Sasha. It's the end of the road. No, I can't let you go by. It's unnatural. Sasha Banks is gone. Oh, boy. We're down to four here. The ladies... Women's Chamber match title on the line. Uh, I'd love to see Shayna eliminate Nia. That'd be funny. Tag teaming. Oh, Puncher in the cooter. In the front. In the, in the gun. Oh, big chop by Nia. Nia firing back with Shayna. Takes her down. Asuka, the champion, still in there. There's the website. Check out that. Wix website, Nightbot Johnny 5 just dropped it. Drop it like it's all. 
the strength of Shayna. And Asuka and Becky going at it as well. Cover by Shayna up top. That might be it for Nia Jax. Uno, El Doso, and Sayonara to Nia Jax's hole. Take your hole out of here. We're down to three. Can Asuka retain her title? Becky fights out of that submission maneuver and takes down Asuka. It's going to be Shayna. Becky or Asuka now, peeps. Yeah, a lot of changes in your boy Blaze McCoy's life. That's why I took a little time off. But we are back on uh, limited basis. Not as many shows, not as long as well. Like I said, I'll leave the four, five, six hour shows up to Hugo and Mom on the weekend. Becky taps to the gear for you to clutch. Oh, no. And now it's Asuka and Shayna Baszler. Will Oscar retain, or will we have a new FAW Women's Champion? Brownies! Be careful. Oscar getting innovative there, stomping down. Is that enough to put away Baszler? One, two, no! I appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals. You want to show some love? Share it out. Hit that thumb. Give me some more uh, love in the chat. I dig it. That's why, that's why I went live. Even if I'm not feeling that great, you guys can make me feel better, make me feel a little better. And Drum, same thing with you, my friend. That's why I did it. I wasn't feeling great, but I knew if I went live, seeing a lot of you guys would help. And hopefully, like Raven said, I can help some of you guys too. Take your mind off the real world bullshit. If you, whatever struggles you're going through, whatever problems, I'd love to continue to give you guys this escapism, a place to go to. And hopefully giggle, laugh at me, laugh with me. It don't matter. Either way, you're smiling, folks. And that's what it's all about. Put a little joy and love in the world here. It's your boy, Blaze McCoy. And that might do it. No, two. Oh, no. So we're here to support each other, show some love, get each other through some trying times, whether you can hang in the chat. Like I said, drum too. Whether you're lurking, pop in and say hi. It was great to see you. That's what I'm talking about. Great example there by my boy, the drum monkey. And I got to give you a drum roll. Baszler working on Asuka. Toss her like a sack of potatoes. And she ain't done yet. Gut wrench by Baszler. Whirly bird holding on now. Gonna go for another one. Baszler in control right now. Down goes Asuka. Ooh, now Bagwell wants to put his PP in some gremlins. That's scary. This could do it. Submission going for it. Will Asuka tap? She's trying to fight out of it. Elbows, elbows, elbows. It does it. Asuka back up. Snapmare takedown on Baszler. Knee to the back misses as Shayna finds her way out. Big knee strike takes her down. Asuka fights back. Spinning kick misses for Asuka. Baszler moves back in. Bowtie watching closely. Our final here in our women's chamber match. We got three more matches to come after this. Three, two championship matches along with our men's chamber, which will be for the number one contendership of the FAW title. Uh-oh. Asuka looking for a bomb here on Baszler. Oh, back he had him she pulled something. Uh-oh. That didn't look good. Baszler rolls back in. Gonna toss Asuka over and down. Missed him with the stomp there. A little forearm shimmy. Turns Asuka around, kick to the gut. Another gut wrench. Will this be enough? Baszler rolls through. Baszler looks fresh late in the match. And Asuka looks in trouble. Can the champion find a way? That might be enough. Baszler with the cover. We have a new champion. No! Kick out by Asuka, the champion, fighting to the finish here, folks. Well, Baszler's going to look to put it away right here. If Asuka can get away, she does! Asuka knew it was coming. She gets her in that submission again. It's over. She caught her there. Now Asuka's going to try to take her head off. 
Oh, got her covered by the champion. One, two. Oh, not enough to retain the title. Felt pretty. Felt like doing a stream. Why not? <laughs> so I'll bring you FAW, a little fantasy action wrestling from uh, Time Machine Arena, people. Asuka has Shayna down. Going to look to put her away right here. Can she do it? Slow to get up is Baszler now looking stunned. Firing away with elbows. Baszler with a German release overhead. She thinks it's enough. Here's a cover. Doesn't hook the leg. And a big kick out by Asuka in the nick of time. Fans here in Time Machine Arena going absolutely bonkers. Asuka setting her up. Baszler could be in trouble. There's a kick to the gut. And another one. A series of kicks by Asuka trying to finish the job. Oh, right across the face with that one. She might be out. Cover! And she... Get that knock the fuck out, man! Yeah, she's Get done it. Gut. You guys asked for it. And she has done it. What a fight. What a women's chamber. And the winner of the match, and still, the FAW Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! Big win for Asuka. Boom, shakalaka, he says. Wow, successfully defending your title inside a chamber is very impressive. Here's an interesting matchup. Looks like we're going to get this at WrestleMania, but I'm bringing it to you now. The Universal Champion Roman Reigns, along with Paul Heyman. Fighting Edge, and he's brought along Chris Jones. A little help for itself. Here we go. Reigns and Edge for the title coming up next. Raven wants Roman to retain. Interesting. Here we go. Back in time machine arena for our title fight, baby. Who's going to walk out with the championship? Edge or Reigns? On this day, I see clearly. <laughs> Coming out first. It's Christian and his peeps. Looking at the peeps, and it's Edge. Edge and Christian, E and C, back together. Of course, Edge, pretty smart bringing Christian down to ringside because Roman, with Heyman in the corner, why not have someone in your corner as well? Fire stars in the building. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. Good to have you. Sit back, relax. Let the AI take you for a ride. And hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Turn the like button blue for your boy, Blaze. Let's do this. And his opponent getting booed big time here in Time Machine Arena, along with his advocate, Paul Heyman. The head of the table, the chief, head chief of whatever, all that good stuff. He is the universal champion, Roman Reigns. Outlaws got Edge to win. Tiny wants Edge to win. Roman Reigns running down to the ring and let's do this. Title on the line, universal championship up for grabs. 
Jake and Clinton want edge as well. Should be quite interesting. We'll see if Christian or Paul Heyman try to get involved. You got to think they probably will. We'll see. Edge getting a nice round of applause here. The rated R superstar. Trying to take the title off of Roman Reigns here. Reigns not happy at all. Just gritting, staring across the ring. Looks like you got to take a poop or something. There's your champion defending the title right here, right now. It's Roman Reigns. Kelly wants Edge as well. Let's see who's going to come out on top and garner this championship. Edge is ready. Roman's ready. There's the title belt bow tie, your referee. It's time for the championship fight. Here we go. There's a bell. We're off and running. Still to come, the men's chamber for the number one contendership and in the WWE championship, the new WWE champion, The Miz. Going to defend against former champion Drew McIntyre, the man who helped him cash in Bobby Lashley and Dolph Ziggler. Missy Kanak is in the building. I think, you know, you're not lost. It's been a while. That's kind of strange. I tell everybody I'm divorced and Missy Canuck shows up. Maybe Sasha Camaro will show up next. Who knows? <laughs> Good to see you, Missy. We got Reigns and Edge going at it here. Kicked at a Achilles by Edge. Let's see who gets the, the most spears in this match. We'll throw Goldberg in and have a threesome. A three-way. A triple threat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Brooke is in the chat. There you go. Check it out, Brooke. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I always say it, and I mean it. Whether it's one second, one minute, one hour, the whole damn show, it is much appreciated, people. And right now, Edge is saying hello to the top turn, Buckle. And Jake Bagwell is putting his lime in the coconut. Hey, now. Just don't put your dick in it. And a power bomb by Reigns. Roman dumped over by Edge, fighting back. What a fight we got going on here. Edge and Roman Reigns for the title. This is Fantasy Action Wrestling. I'm in Time Machine Arena, giving you some dream matches here. Ease on down, ease on down the room. Easing back into streaming here, it's your boy Blaze McCoy. <laughs> right hand, and another one. Reigns just firing away. On Edge, has him backed into the corner. And slumped down into the corner, stomping on his chesticles. Oh, right in the titties. Edge is down. Reigns trying to finish the job with the quickness. Heyman confident in his client. Reigns missing with the kick here. Now Edge going to work, trying to get the crowd involved here in Time Machine Arena. Helps him back up, but Reigns is ready with an uppercut. And a big flying forearm takes Edge down. Holy piss in a bottle, people. What a fight. Reigns stomps on the face of Edge. Not holding back one bit. Roman Reigns on the offensive now. As Christian watches on. Oh, gut buster there by Reigns. Edge fights back. Trying to keep this an even balanced show. I want to thank everyone for the likes. Thanks for hitting that like button. Blue, you're my boy. Oh, you're my boys. You're my girls. I appreciate y'all out there. Mundo. And a big uh, edge. Going to go for a jump in DDT. That a DDT, though. <laughs> edge now. Uh-oh. There's the distraction by Heyman. And Roman Reigns takes advantage of it. Holy sheep shit. That ain't good. Well, good for Reigns, I guess. Edge is down. Elbow by Reigns. Stomp. Reigns still working on it. Stomps on his elbow. The cover early. That kid hooks the leg. One, two. That'd be a surprise. Only a one. 
Back up again, big right hand there by Edge. Gonna send Reigns off the ropes. Thought he's looking for a spear. Pop up, drop up. And now wrenching away at the dome piece. <laughs> That's right, if you don't know, Missy Kanuck is wrestling mama's daughter. Spear by Edge! Cover! Is that it? Oh, man, Paul Heyman again interfering. Bowtie. Not having it. You gonna throw him out or what, Bowtie? Quit pissing around. Edge now in control, even though Paul Heyman interfered. And sweep the leg, Johnny. And now Roman Reigns helping Edge back up to a vertical base. Elbows by Edge. Big jumping clothesline takes him down. I'd like to see Ed, uh, Christian roll around there, Clinton, and beat the shit out of Paul Heyman. That would be hilarious. I'd love it. <laughs> spear by Roman! Reigns with a spear! Is that enough? He might have knocked the wind out of him long enough to get that three crown. Christian is not interfering. and he does! Oh, Christian turned his back at the wrong time, and Roman Reigns got the win. And King Christian should have did more. Can't do anything about it now. The winner and still champion holy hell in a hand basket roman reigns found a way to get a win raven was right you got it a spear gets the three count edge had his spear there it is it wasn't enough and here's Reigns's. i think yep spear versus spear and this time reigns gets the best of them the winner of the match and still the Universal Champion here in FAW, Roman Reigns. It's a Blaze Chamber, and here's our final chamber match. Kofi, AJ, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Kevin Owens, and the returning Samoa Joe. Take your picks, place your bets. I want to know in the chat who you think is going to get the victory in our final of three Elimination Chambers here in the Blaze Chamber. Clinton, pick one. You guys picking two people. That's not how you pick. Come on, man. <laughs> Sheesh. Chamber time. And who's coming out first? Our main event still to come with the WWE Championship. Raven's going with AJ. And he is coming out first. The phenomenal AJ Styles. First to get into a pod is AJ Styles. Seems like he got the crowd in uh, Time Machine Arena on his side. I hope you don't pick your boogers that way. <laughs> AJ the first to get into a pod. Let's see who's going to be lucky enough to get into the pods here before we go down to uh, the two that will start us out here. Coming out second is Jeff Hardy. The charismatic enigma. Jeff Hardy coming out second. Angelita's picking AJ for the win. Crushing Kelly has Jeff Hardy to win the chamber match. As now Hardy and AJ sinking in to their pods. And the returning Samoa Joe. We got three XTNA guys out first. And man, TNA uh, Impact Wrestling was pretty crazy when those three were back in there. Mama's going for Kofi. That's the way you do it. Pick someone different. 
Samoa Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. And now the man who whooped some ass last night did some damage, and I think he's due for a, a title shot. They should put this guy up against Riddle for the U.S. title. He deserves a title shot. He deserves a title reign. He deserves a world championship, to be honest. It's Cesaro. Claudia Gastinoli. <laughs> Cesaro coming out. And hope he didn't bring a, a Gortzins Nessie with him. Cesaro impressive last night in the Elimination Chamber. Let's see how he does tonight here in the Blaze Chamber. A lot of hate for The Miz, of course. And understandably so. He's a heel. Don't you dare be sour. Clap if you want to. Feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. And having another opportunity to climb the ranks here in FAW. If he can get the win and get a shot at the title, it's Kofi Kingston. That's going to be kind of tough because Money in the Bank ain't going to be till a long, long time, though. Oh, coming out next. Kevin Owens KO ready to do some damage in this chamber match. Let's get down to business. Here we go. KO and Kofi starting us off. Heath Slater's actually getting surgery, and Heath Slater's uh, in another company. So he ain't coming back. KO with an uppercut on Kofi as we got Kofi chance going right now. And a punch of the kidney by KO. Both men coming out firing. Leapfrog by Kingston. Skip over by KO. And a takedown there by Kofi Kingston. Lining him up with a double drop kick right to the side of the face on KO. And you got to think that, uh, we'll talk about this at the main event more. <clears throat> you got to figure Bobby Lashley has a title shot or something, or why else did he help the Miz? Who's going to be first to enter the chamber out of the pod? It's AJ Styles. Styles going after KO as Kofi sits behind. Like I said, this is a, a combat dome chamber, which means rapid entry. Oh, my goodness. And Riley Wolf is in the building. Good to see you, my friend. Riley Wolf up in the house. You got a big match on Thursday. You should, you should be booked, of course. I'd expect nothing less from you, Riley. <laughs> this Thursday, Riley Wolf, he was in the chat earlier. This Thursday, if you check out the website, it's Riley Wolf versus David Fowler. It's going to be one hell of a fight. Garon Dan T. This Thursday, we got TRC versus Bryce Jacobs. Riley Wolf versus David Fowler. Malcolm Black versus Jack Death returning. Johnny Farmer versus Sabria Reed. One hell of a triple threat with Kyle Young, Travis Rex, and Tony Lee Williams. As well as a crazy eight final spot and... The world title shot between Mark Caliber, Brian LG, Matt Outlaw, and Chance Might is that's the return of LTD this Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern for Mass Hysteria. Samoa Joe now in the fight. That's right, Riley Wolf versus the pancake dude, if you want to put it that way. He's not as pancakey anymore, less Sarah. I guess, I don't know. We'll find out this Thursday. Here's the countdown. AJ trying to take out KO. Mondo! Always with a cigar in tow. You gotta love it. Good to see you, Damian Black Mondo, up in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuned to Blaze Radio. This is FAW. Missy cannot cause him problems in the chat. That's no surprise. And Jeff Hardy enters the fold. And Cesaro 
coming in at the final spot has the advantage here in the chamber. Final match coming up here tonight. Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and The Miz. A fatal four-way for the WWE Championship here in Fantasy Action Wrestling. That's right, your boy Blaze McCoy jumps into Time Machine Arena every once in a while. Grabs some of the best wrestlers from today and yesterday at their finest and put them inside of some crazy matches. I'm doing a do-over. This is the Blaze Chamber. And good to see each and every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up for your boy. I appreciate you all. Turn that like button blue for your boy, Blaze. Blue, you're my boy! You're always Thank causing you, trouble, Missy. I was just foreshadowing. <laughs> I appreciate y'all making me feel a lot better here today. This is what I'm talking about. Get your little escapism somewhere to go and hang out, have some fun. Hit that like button, hit the share. We got a main event coming up. Hopefully back Thursday for that show as well. All shows will be tentative until the day. We'll find out how it goes. The boy Blaze McCoy getting back into things here. Easily, if you will. Well, fans think it's awesome. And so far, it definitely has been here in FAW. Trying to find, oh, Jeff Hardy through the pod. That ain't good. Everybody's related. Monstar, who are you related to? Everybody in Canada's related, right? One, two, and a kick out. Even through the pod. Shamrock giving out uh, elbow bumps out there. We're rubbing duplos. Take your pick. Whatever floats your boat. Now Samoa Joe dropped down. AJ still torturing Jeff Hardy, but now Hardy trying to fight back. Yeah, we got Cesaro thrown like a rag doll. Kofi thrown like a rag doll. AJ down and out. One, two. AJ Styles eliminated by Hardy. Jeff Hardy was sent through the damn pod, but he comes back to eliminate the phenomenal one. Holy piss in a bottle. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate y'all. I can't say it enough. It's so good to see everyone here in the chat popping off in the chat. It's a good distraction. Now all five back in the ring. Who's going to be the number one contender here in FAW? As we redo the chamber show from last night with a little blaze twist to it. You know how we do it. Main event still to come. The World Championship Fatal 4-Way Elimination to finish the show. But this chamber is getting ill, people. Ill. Package power bomb by KO coming up and Kofi going down. Cover by KO. Is that enough? No. What a fight we got going on here, people. Samoa Joe looking for a submission on Jeff Hardy. Hardy fights out. Impressive. Kofi thrown to the outside there by Cesaro and Kevin Owens following suit. We got ourselves a melee, a Donnie Brook, a slobber knocker. What is this KO doing? He's going up top. No, he's. Oh, he missed. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Missing is Jeff Hardy. Samoa Joe. And Hardy on the inside. Kofi. Look at Cesaro's in trouble. KO drops him down. Cesaro back in the ring here. Twist of fate on Joe. Cover, hooking a leg is Hardy. Hardy's on a mission here, folks. Oh, Bowtie chooses the outside and Kofi's done. Turn around, Bowtie. Oh, 
plenty of time for Joe to kick out. My goodness, Kofi. No more Kofi Mania. I was hoping Kofi can get that number one contendership. So does all four of these dudes. Who's going to grab it? Grab it like a rabbit. If you missed it earlier, today we are wishing Crushing Kelly a big happy birthday today. And Cesaro's out. Holy piss in a bottle. I wouldn't have said it if Kelly didn't already announce it. Kelly with her birthday here today to Big 4-0. You got to love it. Drink a 40. Big happy birthday to Crushing Kelly today in the chat, of course. I said she was 21, but she, she gave it up. She ain't afraid of it. I ain't afraid. It's just a number anyway. Holy Moses. What a battle we got going on here. We're down to Hardy. KO and Samoa Joe making his return. Kick to the gut. Twist of fate. Down goes Joe. Cover. Man, Hardy is a man possessed in this matchup. KO rolls in with right hands. Crossbody by Hardy. Missing with the kick on. Fighting for the number one contenders here, here in fantasy action wrestling. Samoa Joe. Oh, oh big. Snap drive. He's holding on though. And another German by Joe. Hardy got to be done. He's been put through the ringer. He's been put through a pod. One, two, and three. KO and Samoa Joe. I don't know if this fight, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Has this one-on-one -on -one fight even happened? I know Joe's been on the shelf, but there's Samoan dropping. That might do it. He's got to beat him. KO kicking out is Joe. KO and Joe, I've watched them fight a million times. Kind of uh, reminds me of those Samoa Joe Kurt Angle fights from Impact and TNA back in the day. Those were always awesome. Any Samoa Joe AJ fight was awesome. Takeda don't give two shits. He's trying to get the title fight. Uh-oh. Cheap shit. Package bomb. No. Uh-oh, Shamrock. Boom, 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 boom. Chakalaka. Pop up power bomb by KO. Trying to finish it. No. So close. And he can and he can and he can and he can. It's a wing battle. KO trying to finish the job. Our main event coming up next. Fatal four-way for the WWE Championship. Here in FAW. It's Ziggler, Lashley, McIntyre, and Miz. Even, even, yes, that too, Clinton. Back when they had the main event mafia and some other, they had a hell of a fucking roster. The Daniel, uh, Daniels, AJ, Joe, Kurt, Booker, Nash. The list goes on. Uh-oh. Joe trying to finish off KO. Elbows to the shoulder piece over and over again. And a big left-handed lariat there by KO. Trying to finish the job. Who's going to walk away with the number one contendership? We will have the title on the line next in our main event. Elbow by KO. Owens now turns around Joe and sends him to the outside of the ring here. Looking to probably do some damage on the steel structure. The chamber, our third chamber match earlier tonight. Pete Dunne won the NXT chamber and the NXT title here in FAW. Asuka with an impressive victory in the women's chamber. Incredible. Take to the PP. Uh-oh, Pecker Checker, the ultimate equalizer, and KO. Oh, dropping him on his Pecker again on the knee and a senton with his Dupa. KO using all the private parts. One, two, and a kick out by Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Working on the leg in Samoa Joe, kicks him in the grill. Pick up, big slam, sit-out style by KO. Oh, with a rake across the face, and now a uh, temple smash. Both, he's going to try to pop his head like a damn pimple. And slams him down on the mat, stomping away his KO, trying to finish the job. 
He wants that title shot. Number one contendership on the line here in FAW. Just slams him down and covers. One, two. Almost had enough. Holy piss in a bottle. Up again, bow tie. Checking to see if Joe's still conscious. My goodness. KO looking for a package bomb to end it. Going to drop Joe in his dope piece. No side slam instead. No alternate version, and now could be time for a pop-up power bomb to finish the job. Shades of Sean Shamrock. Boom shakalaka. Cover. One, two, not enough again. What's it going to take to get the victory here, people? KO has him up. And a gut buster. Ah, oh, that's not a gut buster. He hit him in the peepee. -pee. Centaur. Pecker checker. Followed by a dupla splash. All the private parts being used again by KO, but he's having a hard time keeping these games. No. Uh, <laughs> getting Samoa ja Joe down for a three count. Well, thank everybody for popping in, stopping in. It's pop up fantasy action wrestling show and joe is out joe is out joe is out get that knock the fuck out man give me my fuck kill wow ko has done it and he is now the new number one contender what a fight we're the match a new number one contender here in fantasy action wrestling it's kevin owens Main event time. The new champion, The Miz, against the man who helped him cash in, Bobby Lashley. The former champion, Drew McIntyre. And a hand picked fourth competitor from Twitter, it's Dolph Ziggler. Who you got? Pick one, folks. Final match here in our return show Fantasy Action Wrestling. Drew, Dolph, Bobby, and Miz. For the championship. Main event, let's do this. Tiny got Drew to regain the title. We're gonna solve this shit right here, right now, without further ado. Time Machine Arena, and this is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Blaze McCoy saying it's so good to be back. Still working my way back to you, babe getting better every day folks i hope everyone out there is doing well and staying safe also but this is our escapism and i felt good enough to bring a stream and it's good to see all y'all hanging out making my day make my day y'all make my day i love y'all each and every one of you all my ltd members Fans, PlayStation Network followers, YouTubers, gamers, streamers, podcasters, even you lurkers, I love y'all. Your boy Blaze McCoy, you guys fuel the fire. Bobby McGee, <laughs> coming out first. Dolph Ziggler. Me and Bobby McGee. Thank you, Mondo. I appreciate that, my friend. That means the world. That's why I do it. I do it to help you guys and myself. Everybody needs a getaway. Cause I got to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little blazy -oaky, not too much. Maybe we'll bring it back this Thursday. That's right, mass hysteria this Thursday, folks. Don't miss it. LTD is back, leaning towards death wrestling. A little bit different, a little bit new. I'll be in contact with some of you folks to let you know what's going down, but a little new LTD coming this Thursday and in the future. Stay tuned. Bobby Lashley next in the ring. And our third competitor, the former champion trying to win back his title. 
It's Drew McIntyre. And there's the website, Night by Johnny Five, right on time. Click that link, and it'll take you to the website. Right now, the website has a little newer look to it. Not really, if you have, if you've been there recently. But the website now with four match cards coming up this Thursday, next Monday, next Thursday, and the following Saturday. It will be the golden offering of Saturday Supercard Returns. It's Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern, March 6th, with all the titles on the line. And now the final competitor, one that all y'all love to hate, me included, regaining the championship last night at the Elimination Chamber after 10 years. Awesome! He is coming out now to defend his championship in a four-way elimination fight. The new FAW world champion, The Miz. The Miz, our final competitor. And make no mistake, title on the line. All four men are going to tear each other to pieces. The championship is on the line. And it's an elimination match. The last man left standing, whoever can survive three eliminations, will get to hold that FAW championship right there, folks. It's Ziggler. It's Lashley. McIntyre and The Miz. Here we go. Four-way elimination match. Let's do this. Right off the bat, it's Miz and Lashley, Drew and Dolph. Russian leg sweep right off the bat by Miz. Missing with the stomp on Lashley. Kick to the gut. Who's going to walk out with the championship? Mama wants Lashley to win. And a big takedown by the Miz off the bat. DDT by Drew. It's crazy. What a main event. What a show we've had. Monstar says hi to Damien. I was going to say, where's Damien Hernandez? Is this fixed? <laughs> Inside, I guess it's not here. Miz and Lashley in the corner going at it. Don't forget to check out Monstar Sports Entertainment if you haven't already. What the fuck's wrong with you? Bring your F, MFW, and plenty of more cooking streams. Tons of sports streams. Watch along with Molly. You can't miss it, folks. Monstar Sports Entertainment. My brother. Also, don't forget, Wrestling Mama has returned. Wrestling Survivor on Friday night. Don't forget, Schmoo is still in there, and he's eating the whole island away. Rex is stuck on the island. Oh, kick to the gut. Big slam. Jump on your shit. Ew, gross. Don't jump on shit. Unless you put it in a bag and light it on fire and uh, knock on someone's door and run. Then they stomp on the shit. Jump on the shit. <laughs> we got four in the ring fighting for the championship. Good to see each and every one of you guys and gals. Take down air. Oh, wow. Mama's uh, son had a chance to fight Lashley. We got a lot of people in the community with ties to uh, the indies as well as other wrestling. I love being a part of this community. We ignore the hate, and we embrace a lot of love around here in this community. That's what the Blaze Radio Network is all about, bringing people together from all over the world. Because I've been around the world, and I, 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 I love each and every one of y'all people. So definitely check out Wrestling Mama Friday night, Monstar, everybody in the chat. Amazing channels. There's three! We're, Drew is out! Ziggler eliminates McIntyre! Wow! Wowzers! We know Clinton's had uh, Clinton as well. A lot of people get involved with wrestling, uh, the real wrestling as well, and the fake wrestling, and the digital wrestling. I appreciate y'all. I got an eclectic community, so many people. A lot of people that hate each other, don't like each other, but here it's all about just having fun. Forget about your worries, forget about your fears. 
You don't get along with anybody. Spear by Lashley. Now Ziggler's going to be out. No! LD got the family here. You love it. I appreciate y'all. Definitely check out Mythic Legends Wrestling also. Crimson Ninja with a show. J-Dog earlier tonight. Alfie with a show earlier. So many. And yes, it is going to be March Madness. And yes, the gathering is happening. We got 84 competitors. Or no. 78. <laughs> Oh, the Sweet 18, I'm sorry, in the women's division. We'll see. Stay tuned. We have two huge tournaments coming up in March. Unify as the gathering is going to happen. 32 different active YouTubers with wrestling content involved in those fights. And a double elimination tournament with uh, POP matches along the way. And I ain't talking about Sodi Pop. I'm talking about prize or punishment wins in the third round of that tournament you'll roll that you'll flip a coin pain a prize or punishment it's going to be fun the gathering a unique march madness tournament brought to you by your boy blaze mccoy coming up very soon after the next four shows we'll see how it goes here we go lashley has oh taken down by ziggler oh uh, mid's feeling himself a little too much shouldn't do that in the ring and Ziggler firing himself up. Holy hell in a handbasket. Who's going to walk out with the championship here? Lashley setting up Ziggler with a snap suplex. Quick cover on Dolph. One. And only one. Wow. Oh, there's Damien. How'd you know? <laughs> Good to see you, Damien Hernandez. Don't worry. This, this match is fixed. But I don't know who the winner's going to be. We must have a wiener. Thank you. Good to see you. Two Damians in the chat. That's too many Damians. As long as you're not the evil Damian, you guys are the good Damians. Hi, Damian. Damian me Damian. Damian me Damian. Uh, upsy daisy. Uh-oh. spaghetti -oh. Ziggler's in trouble. Oh, Miz took out the legs and maybe just helped Dolph Ziggler. Good to see each every one of you. Good to see you, Damian Hernandez, Damian Black, and whatever ever Damians are out there. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Turn the like button blue for your boy, Blaze. Good to be back. And I appreciate y'all. I thank you for being my friends. Thank you for being friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Travel down the road and back again. <laughs> Oh, man, here we go. Up top, caught him with a bomb. Holy piss in a bottle. Don't drink the bottle. Now Miz, the champion, trying to finish the job here. You guys are amazing. I appreciate it, every one of you. So good to be back. Hopefully back as many times as I can. Health permitting, your boy Blaze McCoy. And the best thing about my health is, oh, man, there he goes. No Radio Rex anymore. He's fired. You can see Rex on the island if you really want to see Radio Rex. Cover one, two, and Lashley is out with a skull-crushing finale. Can Miz retain? Will Ziggler win it for the fans? The people's choice, Dolph Ziggler, against the most hated. Oh, kick the head. Ziggler back up. Float over. DDT by Ziggler. Ziggler trying to take the title off of Miz. Oh, man. Ass Master. <laughs> Got him down. Cover. Is that enough? Miz is down. One. Two. He's done it. He's done it. Holy sheep shit. Ziggler's done it. David Fowler wished it true. He had picked him in Twitter to be the fourth competitor. And we got a new champion, the people's choice, if you will. Wow. Unbelievable. Stepping up and taking advantage. We know Kevin Owens is now the number one But we got a new world champion. The Fantasy Action Wrestling World Champion, Dolph Ziggler. Oh, what a 
fight. What a night. Glad to be back. The Blaze Chamber was a success. There's Nightblood again dropping that link just in time. Click on that link if you want to know what's coming up soon. Her leaning towards death wrestling as we return this Thursday right here on the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. Even Bryant, 1993, Ivan Bryant, Kobe's cousin, Ivan Drago Bryant. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, just in time for the end of the show. Check out the replay, buddy, and I'll see you Thursday night. Click on that link right above you, my friend. Welcome to the show. You're tuned to the Blaze Radio. Show's over. Go home. Well, you don't got to go home, but you can't stay in Time Machine Arena anymore. Get out of town. <laughs> I want to thank everyone. Big shout out to Wrestling Mama, Matt Outlaw, Lady Devil, Ivon, Yvonne Bryant, Damian Black, Missy Canuck, Clinton, Damian Hernandez, Mrs. Utaker, Monstar Factory, everybody who has joined the show, Rob Machete. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls. It's been amazing. Bueller, Bueller. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hook, line, and sinker. Peace and positive vibes to each and every one of you guys and gals and your family. Stay safe and stay tuned in to Blaze Radio. I missed you all too and hope to see you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm rusty.